Good afternoon, I'm Juliet, and welcome to BNN Channel 9 News. Today is Friday, January 11th. I'm Emily Harper. And I'm Hannah Jones. Let's send it over to Double B with your five-day forecast. Good afternoon, Mount Juliet. I'm Bonnie Baker, and I'm here with your five-day forecast. A few showers are possible this morning with partly cloudy skies for the rest of the afternoon, giving us a high of 68 with a low of 60 and a 40% chance of rain. Tomorrow, we will have a high of 71 with a low of 58, with some scattered thunderstorms and a 60% chance of rain. And on Sunday, we will have a high of 58 with a low of 36, with some scattered showers and a 70% chance of rain. And then on into next week, both Monday and Tuesday, we will lower into the mid 40s with some scattered thunderstorms. I'm Bonnie Baker, and that was your Mount Juliet weather. Have a great day, Mount Juliet. Hey, Mount Juliet, I'm Brandon, and this is your sports news. Both the freshman boys and girls basketball teams had unfortunate losses last night against Station Camp, but are planning to regroup and hope to win against Wilson Central Monday. The wrestling team also suffered a loss against Siegel last night, but with two big wins by Hunter Ingham and Asher Benson. Remember, MJ, Station Camp is coming here tonight, so come out and support your girls and boys basketball teams. I'm Brandon Mitchell, and that was your sports news. The French Club will be reorganized on Tuesday, January 15th at 3.15 in room A134. French current and former students are eligible to join. The host of regional competition is Monday, January 14th at MTSU from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Kicking it over to Allie Oswald with your political news. President Obama is putting a symbolic twist on a time-honored tradition of taking the oath of office for a second term with his hand placed on not a single Bible, but two. One in which belonged to Martin Luther King and the other being Abraham Lincoln's. This is significant because the inauguration happens to be on the day that Martin Luther King gave his I Have a Dream speech at the Lincoln Memorial. Obama plans on basing the memorial as he takes oath. He is not the first president to take oath using two Bibles, but one of many. I'm Allie, and that was your political news. On Tuesday, January 15th, the FAFSA workshop will be held from 12 to 7 in the library computer labs. Sending it over to KJ Boston with your more information on America's life expectancy. It's no surprise that Americans are rapidly declining in overall health. However, a report done by the National Academies on Health and Life Expectancy have revealed that people in other countries could possibly be healthier in every aspect of life. Even with much better health coverage, Americans consume more calories and abuse more drugs than any other country. We are also at a higher risk of HIV and diabetes and are more likely to die from violence and traffic accidents. I'm KJ Boston, and that was your health news. There will be a brief step team meeting for all step team members from this year in Ms. Tucker's room today in room C128 at 310. Tryouts for the spring musical, high school musical, will start next Monday and Tuesday, January 14th and 15th. Dance tryouts will be on the following day, January 16th. All actors, vocalists, dancers, and crew, please see Mr. Parks ASAP for a tryout time. Fifth block classes start back on Monday, January 14th after school in the library. German students interested in traveling abroad scholarships see Ms. Zahuski in room A107. Deadline for writing scholarships is January 30th. The German Honor Students Induction Ceremony in Adel Epsilon Phi is today. All state choir practice will be tomorrow, Saturday the 12th from 10.30 until 12.30 in the choir room. It's time for your business news with Drew Fraley. In what is already being called the worst flu season in a decade, an abnormally high number of emphysema cases could end up costing employers billions of dollars. The likely increase would be related to higher health care costs and an expected decline in production as more employees miss work due to sick days. The Centers for Disease Control estimates that an average seasonal flu outbreak costs the nation's employers $10.4 billion. And that doesn't even include indirect costs such as the loss of productivity. I'm Drew Fraley, and that was your business news. Free math tutoring is available after school Monday through Thursday in room C110 until 4 o'clock. And now it's time for your club meetings. STEM Club will meet today at 310 in room C151. Ela Vita Club meets Monday at 305 to 330 in room A126. The Ela Vita officers will meet that morning at 730 in room A126 as well. Ignite Club will meet Monday and Thursday morning at 7.30 a.m. in C143. German Club meets Mondays 3.10 to 3.30 in room A107. Japanese Culture Club meets Mondays 3.10 to 3.30 in room A107. MJ Classical Society meets Tuesdays at 3.05 in room B144. Student Council meets Tuesdays at 7.30 in B143. Prom Committee meets on Tuesdays at 3.15 in room A131. 
There is a host and meeting for all members and officers on Tuesday, January 15th at 310 in Miss Dickens' room, C-123. Our club will meet on Wednesdays in room A-147 at 310. YIG mock session is Wednesday, January 16th at 305 to 5 o'clock in room B-141. FBLA will meet Thursday, January the 17th at 310 in room B-122. SCCLA meets Thursdays at 310 in room B-108. Spanish Club meets on Thursdays at 7.50 in room A-131. Science National Honor Society meets on Fridays at 7.30 in room C-122. KET meets Fridays at 7.30 in room A-105. STEM Club meets Fridays at 3.10 in room A-178. Today, the meeting will be held in room C-151. Here are some weekend events. The Harlem Globetrotters are coming to the Municipal Auditorium Sunday at 2 p.m. David Allen Coe with Johnny Fritz is today at 8 p.m. at the Exit Inn. Thank you for watching BNN Channel 9 News. I'm Hannah Jones. And I'm Emily Harper. We hope all of your wildest dreams come true.